Halfway there, goes in. We're ready to sprint. 1100 meters. Start to pull the lever, and they're off in sprinting. Sweet the sound. Wasn't the best into stride. Frank, on the other hand, was the first alert away from the gates in a flash. Goes the length clear. Rapid fires in second. Towards the outside is Miss Nibble. Civil rights in comes Fedra. Further back to Gillian and Redberry's got the white and blue. Five lengths off them. Stolen Kiss just in behind the leaders. That's got about six or seven to make up. And towards the back end is Sweet the Sound and Sound Check. 500 meters left to go, and I would say speed on the inside. Franca from Rapid Fire in second. Gillian Ann, Fedra, Miss Nibble, Stolen Kiss, Civil Rights, Red Berry, but Frank has gone three lanes clear. Fedra's in second, down the center, and trying to stay on, but Frank has got the lead. Fedra, Miss Nibble, Stolen Kiss to the outside. Franca on the inside, Miss Nibbles, Stolen Kiss, and Fedra takes off. Fedra and Stolen Kiss, Stolen Kiss. Stolen kiss from nowhere to win. Fedra's run second. Behind them, Miss Nibbles and then Franca. Work or oh, to work. He did have a good winner at the Vol, I believe, yesterday with prime example. And yes, stolen kiss. Well done to Ms. Dames N. Pile and of course Lorette Lowe back in Johannesburg. Yes, stolen kiss to win a very good race for Tara Lang. Fedra's run second, Miss Nibbles run third, and fourth, I'm going to go with number six, Red Berry. Well, I hope you caught up with the pre-race uh, chat to Gavin Fenter about Stolen Kiss when he said that this is uh, some of the best work that she has delivering, been delivering at home of recent, while well, she's certainly brought that to the race course today. And that's not to say that she isn't always giving of her best, but uh, she took on a smart field here and she's beat some of the top sprinters in the Eastern Cape at, at the moment. Exactly. It was a very competitive Phillies field, and, um, but Gavin was spot on. She's been feeling so good. You know, her last start... When I jumped off her, she also boxed above her weight there. And um, uh, the first thing I said to Tara was, Jesus, Philly's, she's feeling better and better. Yeah. And so obviously whatever her issues were, they're on top of it. And she's feeling great. She's in a very good space. And yeah, I gave her a very good warm up because I knew those horses, all the three horses on my outside are all three front runners. So I knew they were going to go hard and I wanted to be within striking yeah. distance of them. And, you know, coming to the 400, when I saw us two links or Fedra, I said, I'm definitely in with a shot. And, you know, she really mowed them down nicely. She cracked on. She quickened right yeah. to the line. And, yeah, it's a very nice game winning from her. It's, it's my third one on her here. So she's doing very well here in the Eastern Cape. And, yeah, she's going. I know she boxed above the weight here, but she's going nicely through the divisions. And um, I hope there's a few more yeah. from her. These are horses, uh, you know, whenever you ride winners, of course, it's important. But some of them creep a little bit closer to your heart. And it's those ones that always try a little bit harder that seem to make that impression. No, exactly. You know, she's always, you know, when you look at the book and you say, oh, I'm riding this filly. I'm yeah. so grateful. She's a pleasure to ride. She's so chilled. She's a nice ride. She doesn't, pull, she does everything a ride yeah. at once. And um, she's a trial, which is even better. But I have to say big thanks to, to Gavin and Tara, you and, you know, the whole team. They really, the horses are feeling good and running well. Yeah. And um, yeah, she was in the right, I thought it was a strong field, but it was kind of the right race today. She's picked up a nice one. So thank you to them. And to the owners, Nalini and Lorette, thank you so much again for letting me win on your filly. I appreciate it. And my sponsors, Bryanson Auctioneers, can't forget about them, the best auctioneers around. They're doing a great job. Thanks, well Nadine. Done. Great to chat to Ryan, and you can tell that uh, he really gets on well with Stolen Kiss. And Gav, I know that back at home, she's a horse um, that you put a lot of hard work into, but as Ryan points out, it's obviously paying off because she's feeling good, he says, and she's in the winner's box. Yeah, first of all, she came to us in immaculate condition from Dore Sham. And uh, we work on her all the time, and she's just getting better and better and better all the time. And as I said earlier, when I worked her on Wednesday morning, yeah. I got off, I said to Tara, I've never known this filly to work this, this well. well. Yeah. Which tells us that we're on top of the problem, and yeah. uh, we're fixing it, and we, it's fixed, and we just got to keep her where she is. Yeah. And, you know, ideally, as I said, this wasn't really the right race, but going through the program, it just wasn't a handicap. Yeah. And a handicap, I would have made a race uncertainty. But at the weights, she had one or two to beat. But just her work was so good, I just looked past that she wasn't well-weighted. And I thought, 
even the 1100 was going to be a little bit quick. And as I saw earlier in the race, the first thing I th said to my, I thought the thousand's too quick, two weeks' time. It's, that's out. Yeah. It's too quick for her. And she just mowed them down. So ideally, 12, 1300 yeah. is, is, is ideal distance. But she's getting better and better all the time. She's won a, great, a good race. And uh, we'll have to look forward to where we're going from now. The latest pendant, but we have to be careful. She might get a penalty for running a place in one of those races. But that's... We'll, we'll discuss it with Tara and to the owners. But yeah, well done to Lilini and Lorette and to Tara's sponsor. And yeah, I th it was a gutsy win. It certainly was a gutsy yeah. win. Gav, well done. And uh, yeah, good call in the parade ring. Thanks for that. Thank you. Great win there from Stolen Kiss. And uh, yeah, she's one of the horses that the yard have to put their, their the extra work into. But my gosh, isn't she absolutely relishing it? And uh, even though boxing above her weight yet again today, she's really pulled out a top performance, feeling well, looking good in the winner's box. She's beat a really smart field here. So to Nalini and Lorette, well done.